All right, set up for a quick lake session. Uh, I'm going to take out the Hover Downwind uh, Envision 140 and the 1800 pump foil. So, as you can see, very well balanced up, which is grabbing the front foil roughly at about the center of lift. And it board lifts up perfectly horizontally. The board's a little bit colder than I was expecting, so hopefully, I don't fall in. Um, I bring it up every time, the mount position. Incredibly stoked with these super long tracks. Oh, that water is fresh. If my voice changes pitch, just bear with me. All right, hopefully that's deep enough. This is a little bit of a weedy bottom, so I'm trying to avoid sticking my foil into the weed. Oh, it's cold. All right. Uh, big benefit of the 140. It floats me. Really big benefit. So. I kind of bust myself. I'm still not in perfect shape from my back injury, but we're going to jump onto the lake. Uh, let's just set it up as a foil session. With the recent updates on the Apple Watch and Apple phone, it's defaulted everything back to weird settings. So it's giving me bearing and speed, which is fine. This is the 140 Envision, and I'm hardly giving it anything. But as you can see, we're doing, we're doing a 6.9 k now, 6.7. So low speed around 5.8, high speed around 6.7, 6.8. Which is pretty fast. A little bit of westerly wind, but not a lot. Otherwise, perfect condition. Again, I'm not trying to bust myself, but I will go up to the markers, which is roughly about 200 metre. Of course, I'm not planning to pump that, so I do not want to hurt myself. Learning a lot with physio on back movement. Doing 7 k's an hour now, which is pretty impressive. Got to ignore that 9. That just picked up during the stroke. Uh, really stable, loving the 140. I haven't flat water paddled it up yet properly. Had a couple of goes in the ocean and light winds. This will be the first real Water paddle up. I feel like a little bit of a head current, maybe. Hard to tell. Definitely a tiny little headwind, but only a couple of knots. Hopefully, got my heart rate up a little bit. 120, yeah, that's good. Bringing the body up. Super important to bring the body up. I am using the 1800 glider with the 210 2D tail. Mainly because I couldn't be bothered changing it over to the 250, which is the paired run and the semi complete. Uh, so let's fly it up a bit. Start just mentally going through the motions, uh, hinging at my hips, not my back, dropping my weight down on the blade, even at this slow cadence we're doing five and a half k's an hour, oh, it's fantastic. All right, let's get our breath back because I'm really unfit at the moment and I'm going to be puffing, so please ignore the puffing, hopefully it's not too loud. I'm using the Shocks Swim Pro headphones. They're, they're really cool. Phone conducting, so I can hear everything around me. It's full peripheral, and hopefully the microphone's coming through really clear. All right, first pad luck on the 140. Not 100% expecting to get up, but I just want to feel it out. It's all about feeling out the balance points, getting comfy on a new board. Um, 
I've only done some really short downwinders on this, no real, nothing real lengthy. I'm going to have to sun in my eyes a little bit, which is a bit annoying. Aim is to get down to that yellow boy, but no pressure. If I do, if I don't get up, I'll just come back up to the boys, uh, or I might try another sun length one. So roughly in my foiling stance where I'd like to be. Start just getting a bit of momentum going. Alright, so we're just getting some hull speed. Alright, we've got it. We start massaging the foil. Getting a bit of a lift. Get some foil engagement. That should lift off. There we go, so the foil is lifted off. And everything feels quite good. I'm gonna bring, just working my stance out. So I'm moving my feet around a little bit, that's better. Okay, feels pretty good. This board feels so light. It's like, it's like a headwind, but um, moving my toes is making a true difference. So it's nuts. Little slip then. So I'm just running out of juice now. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I was happy with that. Might have been 200 meters. Maybe more. Or maybe that stretches to 500 meters stretch. Maybe it's about three or four. Anyway, I am puffed. Heart rate hasn't reacted yet. But I'm definitely puffed. Really pleased with the paddle up. Um, didn't have my back foot back far enough. So when my foil was engaging, I probably could have got up a little bit earlier, but again, don't really want to rush it. And I think my extension wasn't perfect. I was too busy trying to move my feet and things. So I did lose a bit of height there through the middle, I even tapped down a bit. I'm just sort of trying to work out where to put my feet, um, which is all part of having a new board and new setup. So it feels like it's in the right spot. The board is really reactive. Every little micro step, even just twisting with my foot, I could feel the difference. Um, and I was only moving centimeters backwards and forwards. So with a perfectly balanced up board, the weight should be equal on both legs. And that's ideally what I'm aiming for. So, I'm uh, very impressed. That was super cool. And I think I'll, whew, I'm exhausted. I'll go up for another one. I'm still halfway one. Have that up. Uh, I'm thinking of doing one on the crossover 125. So that might be interesting. I know the board is incredibly popular. I nearly feel feel bad, feel guilty for grabbing one myself because we're pretty much sold. We are sold out on our side. I know there's some on the shelves in shops. So if you're interested in that board, you've got to move fast. The 145 I'm still pretty good with. Uh, the board's equally as popular. Just I did buy more of those. Um, but the 125 has just, yeah, really run out the door. When you see it in the flesh, you can't help but want it. And unfortunately, I pulled it out of the box and looked at it, and then it was all over. It was mine. It is set up for winging, so I will have straps on it, so that'll be a little bit weird. But we'll give it a go. Anyway, let's get my heart rate down. It's 116 now. I think I was about 146 or something, so not too bad. More just my cardio is crap. Um, Probably could have engaged some paddle, but I need to get my head back into flat water game and really boom, you know, it's boom, you see my shadow, it's getting that extension, um, thrusting your hips forward, super important, and getting unweighting, but also not using your back. Like, I'm trying to really, using my shadow is pretty good, I can actually look at it myself. I want to keep that lower part of my back there, keep that nice and 
support and straight. Thumb goes back. Hinge. Hinge. I feel that nerve loading up a little bit, so just take it easy. You're probably overdoing it as it is. But sometimes you just can't help yourself, right? I'll take a better note of the distance. I have a funny feeling that might have been 500 metres. But you never know. Probably not. Doesn't look like 500 metres. Just felt longer than 200. Or some weed. I definitely do not want to go back in that line. I feel like there's a drop off here. I wonder which side is moving more. And I thought that there's going to be weed closer to the bank. I'm going to go this side. Weed is definitely not your friend. So I might not talk on this paddle up and I'll just see if I can get a little bit cleaner up. So I'm using a fair amount of oxygen too. I've got a little bit of weed. I think I might have made a dud call. I don't remember this year last time. Maybe the 1800 beast churned up some weed off the bottom. Such a powerhouse. Yeah, I'm going back to the other side. This is ridiculous. That ain't fun. So, watch something I've paddled one kilometre down and back to. Won't be too far off 500 metres. <sighs> I'd like to get my heart rate under 100 to start. We're at 110 at the moment. Do some breathing. Talking's not good for getting your heart rate down. 106 will do. I haven't got all morning. Uh, I'm worried about all this weed all of a sudden. So again, I'm just going to get in my stance. I'll work a little bit of speed up paddling. And then once I feel the foil engage, I will start to lift off. Let's see how we go. Let's get it speed first. I can hear weed gurgling. Nice and high on the mast. Got my back foot in a better spot now. Right, I think that's probably about me. Oh, a bit exhausted. Yeah, that was 200 metres. So the track must be more like 300. Oh there. Yeah, I'm definitely unfit at the moment. 165. I could feel it. Again, talking too much. But quarter past eight, I've got time. I'll we'll quickly go grab the crossover. Give that a little feel. Oh, this board, 140, is excellent, such a good board. Pretty confident that I'm about as fast on this as I am on the 125, even though it's two inches wider. It's a really, really good board. All right, well, I'll cut transmission now. I'll head in and grab the 125 hover downwind. Definitely not the desired board for a flat water paddler, but it will be interesting. I'm not expecting to get it up, especially in the state that I'm in, the fitness of it. Let's see if I can get it up. That's cool, so I've just gotten in. As you see, I've grabbed the 125 hover crossover. Very different shape, um, but purposefully. And I'm just going to quickly change them over. I did want to give a shout out to James here at Conrad. These click nuts are freaking godsend. Just so quick and easy to change things over. Right, really doesn't get much simpler than that. Now this one yesterday when I balanced it up, I did like it about halfway. 
which is there, as I can tell from the markers. Okay, so I'll just open the click nut up a little bit, slide it on. Didn't realize the camera was hitting there, my telly tubby head. Don't know which telly tubby I'd be, but maybe leave it in the comments. I don't know if there's a frothing tubby, but yeah, so once you're happy with the basement, that's there. You basically crank them up pretty tight, you'd be surprised how tight you can get them. And most people freak out when they see that, but these puppies just twist them and line them up. Turn that one. Beautiful, look at that. All perfectly aligned and ready to roll. 210 rear, 1800 front on the 125 crossover. I'll be back in a sec. Cool, all right, was swapped over. I put my other board away. Just double check our mounting again. That looks perfect. Again, I've got front straps on this for winging. So, it's gonna be a little bit weird. I haven't paddled up in straps for a very long time. And they're gonna be a little bit offset. But I also wanna just feel the board out. I haven't, I haven't paddled this board yet. It's the first time it's gotten wet. Oh, that was a bit breathtaking. So uh, yeah, the strap set up. They're nice and wide. They're getting nice and stable with the, the width. Definitely notice the length difference, a lot more yaw. I mean, obviously, there's no real big surprises here. Um, we just gotta drop the paddle in like I was doing before. Yeah, so we're on about five and a half k's an hour paddling peak, and the fall off is about five. So we look quite a lot slower than the 140. Paddling this hard was getting up to about seven k's an hour, which is just so good. That tail, and you can probably look backwards on the camera now, I'm sure this wider tail. He's pulling a wake. Um, and that's always going to slow you down a little bit. And just the less water line, the bulb your nose, and see the nose pushing water to 5.1. That's incredible. Huge amount slower. So even at the fastest, if I really put down some power, Yes, average. Hey, like five and a half. Crazy. So if I did that on the other board, I'd be doing seven k's an hour. So there's your big difference to start with. That 140 is so fast. You don't need to go stupidly narrow, in my opinion. Um, definitely, if you can, go for it. I mean, if I was lighter and fitter and younger and better looking, I'd go 120 or 110. But as you get older, fatter, dumber, and slower, and uglier, you need some training wheels. I hate falling in. My ego's still not ready for that yet. So, I'm not going to try many on this because I've got to get to work. Running out of time. Yeah, this is work, but that's not how the boss sees it. I dock my pay. Save that off playing. But hopefully, you guys are enjoying the video. It's going to be a long one. We put the whole lot up. Yeah, flying is that shit. Kind of why I'm talking all the time. I hope that hope it, the audio comes through well, so that it's not uh, too wind blown in the gust, and not too much of me deep breathing. So it sounds like a a weird geriatric porno. Um, but try to get some information out. Again, this is my first paddle on this board. I'm super looking forward to winging it. Really excited to wing it. Um, surf foiling, I think it's going to be unreal. I'll probably even write a strap for surf foiling and uh, wingy. This is going to be so fun. The yeah, I mean, I probably will stick to the 140. I'm just so wrapped in that board. I've got the 125 there, which is you know, by all means an absolute weapon. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit faster, but uh, if I weigh up the pros and cons and what I get, what I don't get for me. I'm never going to be the fastest guy out there. 
Uh, I think the 140 is me. So I'll probably move my 125 on. As uh, I know Matty will be on a 110. He doesn't need a 125. Mind you, he's getting old. It's over a bit soggy around the corner, so you know, I don't mind me saying that. Um, so basically up at the theoretical 300 meter mark or whatever the hell it is. And let my heart rate get down a bit. Not too bad. Again, no checking it up. Getting a little bit worried. It's definitely going to be slow as we start off to really start engaging that foil. Um, that is 7.2. So you know, from 8.4 to 7.2. So a foot. One, one foot and two inches smaller, 14 inches smaller. Quite a lot. Actually, a lot, a lot. I've now started getting myself worried. But, full trails grassy, camera's on. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I might even wait for one of these little grass. I think every little push I can get is going to be a benefit. Yeah, how's my heart going? It's not slowing down. I think my heart's scared too. I can tell my heart's all right. It's okay. I think that's going to have to be it because I'm running out of time. Okay. Let's see how we go. It feels so short already. All right, so it took a bit, but we are up. Better not getting that initial speed. Yeah. Yes. Couldn't quite get enough speed to get that glide guide going. Got up though, technically. Uh, mistake. Stop paddling too early. It's a big one. A lot of people do that. I just totally fell into that hole. Had I have done, I don't know, three or five more strokes. Probably would have been good. Didn't feel too bad with the strap. Um, again, I don't think I'll downwind with it, but preferably wouldn't downwind on this board now with that 140 in my, in my van. Oh God, I got hurt to 150. I did want to try again, but my legs start to burn and I'm running out of time, getting my heart rate down. Think about what I'm doing wrong. Kind of force the lift off. Stop paddling too early. It wasn't all I did get up. It's a bit wobbly. It's just going too slow. Um, well, that's the board. Every time the board went in the water, I felt it slow down massively. As opposed to on the 8.4, I could keep accelerating. So, and that makes total sense. There's no nothing groundbreaking in that. Just under 120. Still 130. You know, I think we have to go for it because I'm running out of time. This is not ideal. Don't recommend doing this with your heart rate beaming. Um, let's see how we go. It's going to be pace. Oh. Just can't get the whole speed. As you see, I could pull off. I didn't let my heart rate get down, which is never going to give me the power I need. It was already in the higher end. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm disappointed in myself, <laughs> but I do get like that. I really did want to get it up. Nothing worse than when you can't get it up. But oh, I do want to try one more time, but I'm so maxed out. Bring my back foot forward a little bit. I just take it a bit slower for longer.
Yeah, I can't go fast enough. I can start feeling the load in my body, uh, which isn't good. So that's my conclusion. I definitely think on a good day, I'd be able to flat water this board up without a problem. In my current state, where I still have major sciatic pain in my right leg, my back's actually good, the physical back, but the nerve pain is full on. It's burning right now. And my right foot, the whole outside edge of my right foot, I've got my big toe back, which is awesome. But my last three toes are all numb. And the outside of my calves, and then when I touch my quad, it's all tingly. That's really sore now too. So uh, that's me today. I'll sign out now and just go and have a quiet heart attack. And uh, yeah, we'll pop this up. I'll YouTube at full length. It's going to be boring as. It's going to be nearly half an hour long. But it uh, hopefully gives you guys some information. Take it easy and ride really safe. Uh, we appreciate you choosing that for your mode of excitement on the ocean. Take it easy, guys.